Charles Sturt, after whom the university is named, his mantra was, in the public good. And that's one of the reasons why he was chosen as the person after whom the university would be named because of his commitment to the public good. And that is very much what the Charles Sturt mission is. Which is the really ethos of the university is a Wiradjuri phrase gifted to us by Wiradjuri Nation called Yindyamara Winangana, which is the wisdom of respectfully knowing how to live well in a world worth living in. And that's the philosophy of which we apply our research. So it's about us understanding country. And it's not just understanding country in a physical sense. It's a spiritual sense. It's about having connections with country. It's about understanding what country can provide. And it's about understanding how we interact with country. I've been very fortunate in that CSU supports this multidisciplinary work and has also encouraged it. And so together we've built a team of experts that hopefully is having a strong impact on regional and also national economy. But while we're doing that, we're attracting international recognition for the work that we also do. Imagine that everything that depended on technology didn't work today. We wouldn't be here today. So my very simple message is that we need to embrace the fact that we are very dependent on technology. And instead of going to war with machines, we need to actually think how to live in harmony with these algorithms and machines and how to make the systems, automated system, work to the benefit of the society. Well, I think right now we're in an era of information transfer that's just astounding. We're bombarded with new findings and new discoveries and use of technology that we never had before. And so it's very exciting because we're no longer working in a box. We're working with many people from different fields and different practices. Collaboration is the key to it. Collaboration is two ways. So it's not just about solving industry problems. We want to create the workforce of the future through our undergraduate and postgraduate programs. So we want industry to be helping us build the pipeline of students coming into our undergraduate programs, but also building up the graduate placement programs. We usually talk about responsible artificial intelligence or trustworthy system, but a much more important problem is inclusion. In, in technology, because technology can be a social lift, but equally it can be something that drives uh, you know, inequality and makes uh, outcomes really unequal for a lot of people. So what the work that we do actually targets you know, understanding what are these diverse opinions in the society and how we can build a system that is adaptable to these different needs and wants and understandings and culture and values of people in different areas. So I guess the first thing that has surprised me has been the passion. Um, and then with passion, of course, comes the pride. So that the pride that Charles Sturt academics have in doing the, the best that they can, um, even with, with tight resources. The work that that I do and the work of my team is really about coming up with solutions. The last 25 years has been a journey of coming up with technical solutions to try and make sure that fish can thrive at the same time that we still extract the water for towns and for farming and for all the other things that we need. And so we do a lot of work on technical solutions. It's when the limit of the field is somewhere, ask why. What's holding us back at that point? Everyone else has moved on because that's the limit. And my thing is always to look at what's holding us back and try and think of innovative ways to get around it because the big discoveries are where no one else is looking. You've probably spoken to some of our researchers in AI and who are looking at, well, what are the differences and what are the opportunities for artificial intelligence for the regions? A question that might not get asked by a metropolitan university and yet a third of the country lives in the regions. Do we really want to develop the tools of the future that don't speak to the needs of a third of our population? Australia is a perfect place because it's a very complex landscape, a lot of cultural issues. You need to tread very carefully. But at the same time, this is a place where you can make the most difference because, because of the issues that, that are there, right? And if you can 
so the, well, in, in, in my case, if I can improve, of, you know, life of one person, I think it's worthwhile. So the, we actually do good science. Chaster researchers care passionately about their communities and the future of their, their communities. The government is invested and uh, the Aboriginal Medical Services people that I'm working, working with and then the people uh, in rural communities there, they, they want to make, there's a lot of people that want to make change, so I see uh, hope. There are people doing incredible work who are using our template and our um, way that we have set up to do research and replicating that across the world to really understand how children learn to speak and how to support them if they have speech and language difficulties. And just last year, um, we had 82,000 visitors to the, to the website accessing our resources. I grew up in a small city in Iran and uh, I always wanted to be a scientist very, since I was very small. And, uh, but in my wildest dreams, I never thought I'm going to become a parasitologist, obviously. I don't think many people do. But then I was really, really lucky because CSU is, in my opinion, the best place in Australia to study our ecosystem, to study our environment, and especially studying parasites, which is a big part of this. CSU campuses are located across Murray Darling Basin, which is known as the nation's food bowl. And parasites, as we know, just go between plants, animals, and humans. So there is no better place in the country than CSU to work on that. Agri-Park's different in the sense that we're building an ecosystem. So what's unique about the Agri-Park concept that, that CSU is, is developing is that it brings, it enables communities to come together. It's part of the regional fabric of, of Australia, uh, which is really important because we're also about trying to bring investment and to strengthen community engagement within the agricultural sector in where CSU campuses are located. I think if we are going to provide the politicians with the information they need to make correct decisions, we've got to come up with new ways of presenting, measuring environmental situations and presenting that information to them and to the public. So my big plan is to develop rapid, economic, verifiable systems for measuring biodiversity in any environment and providing the platform that decision makers can make big, bold moves. They're going to need that information and very shortly. At the moment, we don't have the systems to do that. A lot of research in, in years gone by has gone offshore. Globalisation, um, you know, company headquarters moving offshore, acquisitions. We're really focusing on bringing some of that research investment back into regional Australia, back into partnerships with universities, um, and fundamentally getting that investment into building our research capabilities that better support solving those problems that industry have, but doing it in Australia, not outsourcing it to the rest of the world. I think uh, CSU is in a, a really enviable position. It has a, a wonderful presence in its communities. It has a, a large geographic footprint. We are certainly very attuned to what the needs of our regions are and willing to have a go at looking at what could solve those, as well as to think differently about what the opportunities might be. We teach what we do, and it's that authenticity in our education programs feeding through into that future workforce where they're not just learning about agriculture or veterinary science or novel technologies in, a, in an abstract concept as part of a degree course where they're never confronted with that day to day. We have our farms on site. We have our processes next door. We have industry placements for students and our industry partners coming in to teach in our courses. And so we're constantly exposing them to the world that they are going to go out and work in. So everything we do on the teaching front helps to create a world worth living in. And of course, on the research front, people are driven 
all the time by the excitement that their discoveries can make a difference in our regions and in the world. I'd like to see Charles Sturt recognised as the truly innovative and forward-thinking research university that it is.